Hey guys, if you want to dominate in Madden 18, head on over to Madden247.com where you can pick up the full access guide to Madden 18 and any ebooks. This is the best content that you're going to find anywhere and it's more than half off other websites. And if you want to support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com where not only are you going to be getting the best content, but you're also going to be entered into giveaways. So if you're interested, head on over to the links in the description below. What's up guys, we are here today for the first pro tip for Madden 18 uh, and it might have changed this year but I just want to go over uh, the rookie premiere packs uh, that are out and they're supposed to carry over into Madden 18. So what you see you do here is you collect the uh, gold rookie premiere players and then you're going to trade them in and then as of right now for Madden 17 what you're going to do is get a 99 overall player. Uh, but then what's going to happen for Madden 18 you see is that you get them as well at a 78 or whatever their overall rating is for Madden 18 starting the year off. Now here's some info uh, about it. Now the thing too is that they kind of did this last year for Madden 16 to 17 where if you got the rookie player uh, and then they would increase throughout the year uh, depending on how they play but what I found out is I got like the Jalen Ramsey uh, and he didn't upgrade at all so when they did the most feared Jalen Ramsey my Jalen Ramsey rookie premier type player did not get upgraded or when they did the ultimate freeze um, or when they did I guess the all rookie card like and then the most recent, the 99 overall Jalen Ramsey, uh, I thought the way it was going to work is that he would increase every time a Jalen Ramsey card was put out, uh, and that never happened. The card like a Derrick Henry who got a Team of the Week card did increase, but he didn't increase when he got a Most Feared card uh, or any other card. It was just that one Team of the Week card that got increased. So that's how I'm guessing it's going to go is if they get like one or two or three team of the week cards uh, throughout the year and usually no one gets more than two team of the week cards. So if Miles Garrett or Leonard Fournette uh, gets a team of the week minor upgrade you'll get that upgrade as well but if they get say an ultimate freeze with a chemistry I believe it's not going to upgrade because last year did not upgrade unless they change it. So I just wanted to show you uh, this is available to where you can get these rookies for Madden 18. Uh, but don't expect it to be uh, every time the card gets an upgrade that you're going to get that upgrade as well just because you have that player. Because I thought the same thing um, when they were doing it in Madden 16 to Madden 17. That's how it would work and it doesn't. But like I said, you can uh, you know take that chance. They might have changed it, but I doubt it because they want to be able to sell more packs. But that is going to be my first Madden 18 Pro Tip. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And make sure you head on over to Madden247.com or Patreon.com where you can support me directly and get the best content in Madden.